Aisha Tyler is in Cleveland, Ohio, about to read an investigative article she hopes will unlock the sensational mystery behind which white man fathered her two times great grandfather, Hugh Hancock. Hugh Hancock, the highly sensational rumor that General Winfield Scott Hancock had a cream colored son who was reared and educated at Oberlin falls to the earth for want of sufficient and valid proof. Wow. Hugh's genealogy traced back to old John Hancock of Texas, who seems to have loved not wisely, but too numerously. Ah, wow. I was in hopes that General Hancock would turn out to be his father, but after a careful search, I became convinced that ex-congressman John Hancock of Texas was his illegal sire. All right, so old John Hancock wasn't a presidential candidate, but he was a congressman. You see, Hugh used to go to Washington to visit his father. Okay, but the old gentleman would not allow his son to recognize him in public. After he'd seen all he wanted of the capital city, he would return to Oberlin with his pockets filled with money. Old man Hancock did all he could to have Hugh change his name, but the young man was too smart to do that. So isn't that interesting? Well, I mean, he is smart. Keeping his father's name would have forced his father to acknowledge him Absolutely. and to care for him. Finally, Hugh left school having made but little headway and went to Texas where his father had purchased him a ranch. You know, you wonder about the tenor of the relationship and maybe you can never really know. We'll never know, but we'll never there's know. a lot of hints in this article, right? Right. That's there's a hints that there's, there is a relationship. Mm -hmm. There's hints that they spend time together. And on an ongoing basis throughout his life.